हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सीएसआई नेट केमिस्ट्री फैक्ट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द नेम रिएक्शन फॉर द फैब्रोस्की रिअरेंजमेंट एंड दिस नेम रिएक्शंस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन सीएसआई नेट गेट आईआईटी जैम एंड मेनी अदर यूनिवर्सिटी लेवल कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स सो द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गोइंग टू अपीयर इन ऑल दोस एग्जाम्स विल बी बेनिफिशियल फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो एंड गाइस इफ यू आर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन दिस चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर द फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू वीडियोस So guys, let us start the discussion on the Fabrowski reagent. So guys, when the alpha halogen will be treated with the alkoxide, then a reagent will take place, and as a consequence of the reagent, a star will form, and this reagent is known as the Fabrowski reagent. And I will tell you the mechanism of this reaction, and at the same times, I will tell you how the reaction has discovered. So guys, let us start. So guys in the year of 1944 a peculiar observation has done by the american chemist where they observed that two isomeric alpha haloketo a and b was treated with the methoxide base and that will give the same product for both the cases and how it is possible to explain that they suggest for a same intermediate for both the cases but from the different reactant how the same intermediate will form i will show you the mechanism now so guys This is the structure of compound A, and this compound A is treated with the base OME minus, and this base will abstract the proton, which will be acidic. Now you can see this carbon and this carbon can contain the acidic proton because these carbons are adjacent to the keto. Now, if this proton will be abstracted by this base, then a negative charge will come on this carbon that will be destabilized because of the electron-electron repulsion between this negative charge and the chlorine lone pair. So guys, what will happen actually? This negative charge will take this proton. and this bonding electron pair will come here and this bond can open up so this will give this enolate and if in case of the compound b this base will abstract the proton from here and this bonding electron pair will, will come here and this will open up and this enolate will form and these two enolate are actually having the different structure but after the reaction it will give the same intermediate how it is i will show you now This negative charge will come here, and this bond will open up and it can attack here, and this Cl minus can remove. So, a three-membered cyclic keto intermediate will form, and this is the structure of the three-membered cyclic keto intermediate. And in this case also, the same thing will happen. This negative charge can come here, this bond can open up and it can take uh, attack here, and this Cl minus can remove, and this three-membered cyclic keto intermediate will form. So in both cases the same intermediate will form. Now the formation of this three-membered cyclic keto intermediate can be explained in some another theory, and that is by the pericyclic reaction. So in that theory, it is saying like this: Cl minus is a very good leaving group, and therefore this will leave, and therefore a positive charge will come on this carbon. and this species is known as the oxyaline cation and that is basically a combination of oxyaline and a positive charge delocalized through a allylic system and now this one will perform the pericyclic ring closure in a dissolutory fashion to give this intermediate so guys any of this mechanism is acceptable and can be perform in the reaction so what i mean it is this intermediate will form which will participate in the progress of reaction so this will react with the ome minus presence in the solution and this ome minus can attack to this position because you can see this position is actually a sp2 amine position and therefore this bond angle should be 120 degree which is reduces to 60 degree and therefore a huge angle strain is there If this OH minus will attack here, then this carbon will be sp3 hybridized, and in that case, the actual bond angle is reduces to 1.9 degree, 28 minute, and therefore the angle strain will be decreased. So therefore, this OH minus will attack here, and this will form. So. This carbon is sp3 hybridized. Okay, so therefore the angle strain is reduces. And now for further progress of the reaction, this cyclic ring will be break because this is unstabilized because of the angle strain. 
and this temperature will come here and this bond can open up or this bond can open up so either this bond will break or this bond will break now which bond will break if you see carefully if this bond will break the negative charge will come on this carbon and that is the primary carbon atom and if this bond will break then the negative charge will come on this carbon that is the secondary carbon atom we know the secondary carbon atom is more stable than the primary carbon atom and hence this bond will break and this bond will not break so therefore this will form now this negative charge will search for a proton and we know that in the solution what is present here you can see a methanol molecule will come out and this methanol molecule will be there in the solution and this will take the proton from here and the omb minus will come out so it will take a proton so this is the structure of the final product you can see here so guys now you understand the mechanism of the pavlovsky reaction now we will go for the further examples so let's see few examples so guys now we will discuss about few examples related to the pavlovsky rearrangement and these examples are very important for the csir net gate iit jam and many other competitive exams this is the first example where you can see the cyclic alpha halo keto was treated with this base and this is the na plus and omb minus and it will search for acidic proton and here you can see this is the acidic proton so therefore this omb minus will abstract this proton and this bond will come here and this bond will open up so inolate will form so this is the structure of the inolate now this will further come back and this will come here and this br minus will remove so therefore a intermediate will form that is the three member cyclic keto intermediate and in this this omb minus will further attack to this carbonyl carbon and this will open up and this will form now this will come back and this bond will open up and it will take the proton from the solution so suppose here the methanol will be generated and this methanol will take the proton from that so it will form this five member ring and this will be the structure of the final product now if you see the example 2 in this case it is treated with the koh and that is a base and it is a k plus and oh minus and this is the proton that is the acidic proton and therefore the oh minus will abstract this proton and the, the electron will come here and this bond will open so the inolat will form here and this will be the structure of the inolat and now what will happen this negative charge will come back and this will attack here and this br minus will remove so a three membered keto intermediate will form so this is the structure of three member keto intermediate and now what will happen this oh minus will further attack to this carbonyl carbon and this will open up and this will form this one and now it will come back and it will take the proton from the solution okay and this will form this one now if we want to do the further decomposition in the presence of koh h3o plus and heat then it will give the qbn structure so guys this is the product of the reaction and we'll further progress up to the qbn formation 
and this is the actual processor for the formation of the cube. Now we will come for the example 2. Here you can see this is situated with this KOH that is a base and this proton is the acidic proton and therefore this OH minus will abstract this acidic proton and the negative charge will come here that will come like a resonance and will form an inolent. So this is the structure of the inolent. And now it will again come back and this will come here and this will remove. So a three-membered cyclic keto will form. So this is the structure of three-membered cyclic keto intermediate. And now this OH virus can further attack to this terminal carbon and it will open up. So this will form. And now this will come back and this bond will open up it will take the proton from the solution. So it will form this one. So guys this is the product. So guys hope you understand these mechanisms and thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe this channel and please press the bell icon for the further notification and share this channel with your friends and please subscribe this channel now. Thank you so much.